A single bite from a tick and your love affair with meat could be over. A sudden allergy forcing you to give up burgers, steak, bacon, and pork chops forever. Hi, I'm Damon from New York. And I'm Amanda from New Jersey. So, for our documentary, we were looking through articles and we came across an interesting topic on the Lone Star Tick that's been sweeping the East Coast where we live. This tick's bite has been spreading meat allergies to whoever encounters it. Most of the people with this allergy actually live very close to us, which we found really interesting. Although it's rare, there have been at least 400 known cases so far. A bite from the Lone Star Tick, so-called for the white spot on its back, looks innocent enough. But University of Virginia researchers say saliva that sneaks into the tiny wound may trigger an allergic reaction to meat, agonizing enough to convert lifelong carnivores into cautious vegetarians. People will eat beef and then anywhere from near like three to six hours later start having a reaction. Anything from hives to a full-blown anaphylactic shock. One lady named Helen Olive had her first um, allergy attack 11 years ago. She seems as if she was a completely normal lady, but, and she was very skinny and had wavy reddish brown hair and blue eyes. Most people would just think she looked as if she was perfectly healthy, but she always woke up in the middle of the night with uncontrollable itching and nausea. In 2008, on a hot summer day, she was driving her motorcycle around town with her husband when they decided to stop for a meal at a local restaurant. She ended up ordering a salad with beef tips again and had the same reaction, except now the Benadryl just wouldn't work. Her, her symptoms continued to increase. Her blood test showed that she was very allergic to meat. This was all due to one little tick bite. Most people, like Helen, want to avoid having this reaction, so they try to stay away from foods that trigger it. So, me and Amanda thought it would be cool if we discovered how, it, how it's like for the people that can't eat meat. So, Amanda's going to try to be vegetarian for a few days because I don't know, I can never do that. So, I just got back from DAC. This is my first meal. As you can see, I got vegetable lo mein. And what's that, you say? Yeah, that's, that's sausage. So, I went to Energy Kitchen and they told me that I had to pick an entree. So, I said, What are the entrees? And they said, chicken and sausage. I said, can I just have all lo mein? They said, no. And I wasn't waiting on line for any of the other places because the lines are ridiculous. So, that sausage. But I'm not gonna eat it. I want a paper towel. Goodbye, sausage. I got a fresh tomato, mozzarella, and basil crepe. Uh, let's see. It looks pretty good. Eh, nothing fancy. I usually get the Southwest crepe, which has chicken in it. So I was upset about that, but hopefully I'll enjoy this. I usually get a soda. Today I got a water. Because not only am I being a vegetarian, but I'm being healthy. So day one didn't exactly go as well as planned. Um, I'm still hungry and I've been eating snacks all day because all my food didn't really satisfy me. I'm kind of worried about how the rest of the week is going to go. So I'm currently on my way to the gym because I figured that if I'm going to eat healthy, I might as well act healthy too. For breakfast, I had a muffin. For lunch, I went to Monty's, and surprisingly, they had a whole vegetarian section. I did not drink soda all day. Yes, I'm addicted to soda. I had healthy food, I even went to the gym. I think I could actually pull off this vegetarian thing. So today wasn't so bad. Um, the only problem was that Monty's had um, they had a Thanksgiving dinner, and I couldn't participate in that because I can't eat turkey, so that kind of sucked. I'm just excited for Thanksgiving because then I can eat meat and turkey, and it's going to be good.
even like hot dogs, and I could go for a hot dog right now. My sister posted a picture on my Facebook saying, you know what will take your mind off of not being able to eat meat? And I was like, what's gonna take my mind off? So I click on the link, and of course, the big fat picture of bacon. I just want meat. That's all I really want, is meat. I think I'm gonna do this whole vegetarian thing until Thanksgiving, but it's not gonna be easy, because it hasn't been easy, and it's probably not gonna get any easier. So Amanda, how do you feel? Those are the longest four days of my life. Well, thank God we aren't her own olive and we aren't allergic to meat. Yeah, I don't know if I could be a vegetarian. It was so hard. Would you like to add anything that you learned, though? Well, I guess I'd just like to say how it's amazing that one little tick bite can affect someone's life forever. It really taught me a lot. Yeah, I'm sure you're really excited for Thanksgiving. Of course. So for all you guys out there, don't take the little things in life for granted. <laughs> now I think it's time to get a cheeseburger. All right, let's go. Bye. Bye.